Alrighty, we got Jay Grunt and Air Swimmer. So right here is going to be very interesting. Um, Zelda against shorter characters kind of has to rely on some kind of her low hits like down tilt. And so it's going to be interesting to see how Jay Grunt kind of navigates around that and also tries to avoid any sort of add a shield option. Because obviously, Greninja being a very uh, light character is going to die very early to those attitude options. And so, when Zelda goes for those neutral Bs or those up Bs, it can be very intimidating. Right there, we see an example of that with that Pharaoh Jane out of nowhere. And a perfect left trap with the X-Smash. Alright, yeah, that's that's kinda how you have to approach this matchup. You kinda just have to full hop around the platforms. Make sure you let Zelda throw out her hitboxes and then punish, because if you try to go in early, you'll just immediately get hit. Ooh, she's a little bit too light for those kill setups. Missing both up smashes, really unfortunate. Yeah, I think what Jigrunt needs to do is essentially just keep baiting out those defensive options and punish. That's all he really needs to do. And from Air Swimmer's perspective, what Air Swimmer really needs to do is just stay put, stay uh, steady in place, and kind of let Jigrunt do the work in approaching because obviously lacking that mobility against a fast character such as Greninja is really, uh, really harmful. And so you want to throw out those hitboxes that you have in place want to make sure you maintain space and just prevent Greninja from going in. And if he does go in, be prepared to do your additional time to over his steps. And we're seeing that a lot with these Nairu loves all over the place. Whenever Jake run over extends, just to be right now having the advantage. Alright, good F smash on shield. See? I like that little down air to anticipate an out of shield that can punish. I think he wanted to get that near conversion, but it just didn't come out in time. Right. Nice back air shield pressure. Ooh. I like the attempt after Air Swimmer messed up the recovery. I kind of realized, like, yeah, if I go on ledge, I'm gonna not have the ability. I went straight above. J Grunt out here just covering that. It's like every time Air Swimmer's off stage, J Grunt just gets so much damage. Lands the sour spot, not getting that kill. Yeah, that was a wise jump. A lot of Zelda's typically like to do that Phantom and smash ledge trap. And if you manage to jump, um, you're pretty much in the clear. And when you have a character like Greninja that has a lot of great falling air, such as Bear, or Mare, it can be very beneficial. You can really turn the situation around. Nice right. shield. Nice Tomahawk grab. Goes for the down tilt, but it goes for the F smash. Or the fair, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Not too sure about that up to Alright, nice catch. Zelda could still do this. She has the tools. Air Swimmer just has to be very, very patient and not throw out as many hitboxes. Or I'm sorry, throw out more hitboxes. Throw out more hitboxes.
Let's see the new stage. Alright, running it back to PS2. Go! Like that. I didn't even know there was a good luck half fun button. That's kind of cool. Look at all this good neutral play, just being able to avoid any sort of added shield option by full hopping over it, or just not even dashing in, just letting out, letting Air Slimmer kind of just throw out any sort of attack. Yeah, and once again, the miss neutral B to get hit by fair, completely devastating. Yeah, it seems like every time uh, J Grunt goes for these down tilts. Oh! Okay. Every time J Grunt goes for these down tilts, it sends Air Swimmer right up. It seems like every time Air Swimmer goes on the platform, it doesn't really have much of an option other than cold shield. And when you do that, that's good for Greninja because he can typically shield poke, can, like, up air bait, up smash bait. It'd be very devastating. Um. I don't think that should have killed. I think Air Swimmer just went off stage and just didn't do much. Ooh, oh, what are these strings? What? Oh, he's popping up. No! Oh, just... Air Swimmer just let it go. Air Swimmer is just like, oh, I've had enough of this. Just, just kill me. Just kill me. Oh my god. Look at this. Drag down up there. Drag down up there. Boom. Accept it. Accept it. Accept it. Accept it. <laughs> I have never seen that. That is the best way to give up a game. Just let the opponent have the highlight. Let the opponent get that time to shine. Oh my god. And this up smash was perfect. Well placed. I think if you went for up air fair, it would have done the job. But right here was fine. It seemed like when Air Swimmer went for that up B in the Blast Zone, it caused either a Hurtbox shift, or it may have just been Air Swimmer kind of just giving up that stock, not even bothering for stage. Either way, that was a solid two stock. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a counter pick through the character or a counter pick through the stage. Alright, right here we're still sticking with the Zelda. Let's see how this turns out. Alrighty, FD. So this is good because now J Grunt is not going to benefit from all those platforms. A lot of times you get uh, up smash or drag on up air, and he was able to navigate around all these phantoms purely because he had the platform. And so now that they're both on FD, Zelda can kind of take advantage of that and have her attacks always make some sort of shield pressure or damage output. Whoa! Oh! The jab lock setup! Yeah, Aerosmith has to do a better job of getting these attacks, or else j going to just have to fit into that. Ooh. Yeah, like I said before, the lack of platforms. Good attempt, but I think with a character like Zelda, that Hydro Pump Ledge Trap slash Edge Guard is going to work too often. Who knows? Alright, I like the attempt to up the pass ledge to get some sort of damage. Uh, when you're in disadvantage like that, you really just want to like hit your opponent and make sure they aren't prepared to with punish you. So I thought that was a good idea.
All right, nice bait. Ooh, this recovery. Real unfortunate. I think that shuriken kind of hurts from this type of block. I also like the adjustment in combo game from Jigrun doing more and more drag downs. Uh, Air Swimmer is blocking. Um, I don't have words to describe that. I, I guess that's just Air Swimmer trying to calm down and just evaluate neutral. I don't know. Yeah, this just seems really lazy. What's going on? <laughs> this seems really lazy. My man is disheartened. I guess? I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to compensate this. This just looks sad. Yo, he's lost playing. the will. Dude, no. Please. Air Swimmer, keep playing. You're fine. If you get a kill, you can make a comeback. What are you doing? Dude, don't! Yeah. Whoa, why? Why would you do that to yourself? You defeated yourself, Air Swimmer. Why would you do that? Come on. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Hey, yo, Jay Grunt, though, with the perfect drag down up air into up smash into jab block F smash. Beautiful strings all across the board. That said, though, Air Swimmer, please, just keep playing. It's okay. I feel bad for you. Dog. That was just an evisceration.